All right, folks, we back in the lab, we back in the studio. It's Cabin's Log Podcast YouTube show. You got Rob and Rick, what's good? Yes, Sammy! What up, man? It is a Thursday early afternoon. Want to jump in here real quick and holler at y'all, man. Um, what we have for today? Weekend recap? No, Thursday. It's Monday. Yeah, I was, I was, I was <laughs> you just gonna I, let me go? I was just gonna let you go to see where he was gonna go with. I was like, he doing some time travel shit. I don't know about him. I'm sorry. This ain't yeah. on the script. I need a nap. I'm sorry. Uh, weekend recap. Got some NFL Dan Snyder news. We got some Jonathan Majors shit <laughs> going on. We got some shit. bullshit shit going on in DC with these speed cameras, and we got this New Balance debate. I'm gonna put it to fucking bed today. All right, oh I'm putting the kids to bed today. All right, we can recap. What's good? What'd you do, sir? You had a birthday. Uh, yeah, we had a couple birthdays. So mine was on the twenty second, but uh, baby girl Trinity was on the twenty fifth. So uh, Saturday took her pook dog, pookie. Uh, and then my other two and wifey, we went to the spot museum. Uh, never again on the weekend. I'm gonna say charge get in there, bro. It was, I paid. Like, it was one hundred and forty four dollars for all six of us. That's about right. So, and that was with military discount for three tickets. So, um, it was fun, but it, it was just—it's just too much, man. And you know, I, I, too many people. Yeah, and it did. It just made it worse. And you know, I'm just sharing some shit. So my stupid ass fell down the fucking steps <laughs> Saturday morning. So I got up, got baby girl. You know, her cards, her balloons. We're gonna go pick up her macaroon tower. Shout out to Keisha, Sophia, Rose, Bakes, Reagan. <laughs> Trinity wanted a Trinity wanted a fucking Megan cake. You told me about this. This is a cartoon, the, the, right? No, this is like the little scary movie white doll, white girl doll jump that be dancing and shit. The little I Megan. haven't seen it. You that haven't seen it? Wow. It was actually okay, but she wanted a Megan. She wanted a Megan cake. So uh, Keisha came through and did a a Megan uh, macaroon tower. It had her face on it. She had the the macaroons laid out like a little dress. It was dope. She had a bow. Good shit. They crushed it. Um, but yeah, it was raining like shit on, on Saturday. So I had my, my Jordans on, my J's that? on. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> but, uh, here I am doing my normal doo doo down the steps and I fucking slipped from the top step and tumbled. So you, you went all the way to the, you ain't. I went all the way to the bottom. I got to like the second to the last step and combat roll popped up and sat on the couch before I hit the bikes and that glass table. And then here I am limping in fucking the spot. Your hand was swollen when I it seen was swollen Saturday. like I was shit because like, I fell on it. Yeah. So uh, neither here today. I sucked it up for my baby. Walked around. We was in that job for like two hours, but like three quarters of the way through, the girls was like, "Uh, we're bored. We want to go to the mall." So I'm like, "All right." Ching, so ching. we were actually on the way out anyway. They have fun. It was cool, but I would never go in there on the weekend ever again. Um. Then took them to Arundel Mills. Never, I don't like going to the run the mills on during the weekend anyway. But I took him up there because baby girl wanted to go, so we went up there. It was stupid packed. I'm talking about it was like three school buses parked outside Bass Pro Shop mm. on a Saturday. I'd actually prefer to go doing. I prefer to go when it's busy. You, you ever been? You ever been when it's empty? Yes, I love it when it's empty. Bro, I'm in and out. The kiosk mafia, dog. They, no. they, they be so aggressive. No, they're aggressive when it's worse. Sir, do you want something? I'm like, no, get look, away. Look, 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 peep this, peep this. So the shoe cleaning dudes, right? You know, it's like eight of them in that Damn eight man. kiosk in that joint. We get past one joint, one dude was like, hey, you know, they peep everybody's shoes. I don't, I normally wear Solomon's or boots to work. You know what I mean? So I'm not wearing my shoes. So my shoes really, like my Jordans that I had as the anniversary joint. Like them joints clean. Like I still got some of my, uh, a semi clear sole on the bottom of them jumps because I don't really wear them that much. But he was like, "Man, I, you let me show you." I said, "Nah, bro, I already got some shoe cleaning at home. I'm good." He was like, "Oh yeah, you got the big bottle, little bottle. I got the big, I got the uh, little bottle. Oh well, you know, I can use my discount to give you the price, uh, and then you can get the big bottle with the kit for sixty five dollars." I said, "How much for the small bottle? Fifty? I said, "Go ahead, bro. 
You good. What? So then then we got harassed by another one. Then, you know, I'm watching people get harassed by the, the curling iron and ladies and shit, right? Then there's some dude up there. Um, he's selling, like, poetry books or whatever. Black dude, right? So I've seen him already. I've already been harassed by this dude when there's nobody in there. Mm. Like, I was in uniform trying to get some... Uh, some Cajun grill from the, you know, from the food court. Dude walk up to me with the girls. Hey, brother, what's going on? You got on black. I got on black. I'm black. You're black. I don't have any friends. He was like, I need somebody to talk to. Why my kids? You don't have any friends. I'm like, I'm good, bro. And just keep walking. He like, tried to hit you aggressive. With that yes, aggressive as hell. And then yeah, me bro. being a dad of girls, I had to take my oldest to Victoria's Secret never again on a weekday weekend. So, but other than that. Uh, after that, everybody came past the crib for the annual kickback. It was cool. Have fun. I wish I'd have got there sooner, bro. I was but, dead. But uh, other than that, that was it. I'm chill. And then Sunday, I really, I chilled all day. I did uh, try to do a little bit of yard work, but it was mainly the kids. I was just supervising. Don't don't forget about the uh, the astrology attack too, man. <laughs> we could get into it, but I, gonna, if I if I attack. could convince her to get on the get on the show, I'm pretty sure that would be a dope ass conversation. But I just got to get wifey on here, but. Wifey was giving everybody they, their their horoscopes, their ascendant moons, their rising moons, and the whole nine. It was breaking everybody down to a T. It was she, pretty, she was trying. It was, it was pretty good, but uh, yeah, we had fun. But other than that, that was it. You sir, I ain't do shit, man. It, you know, of course it was a it was a basketball weekend. Uh, definitely had some birthdays. Uh, shout out to Ralphie. How mm-hmm. it's his birthday actually? It's today. Shout Ralphie to him. ten. Happy birthday, my good guy. Um, got a chance to, um, you know, went to, uh, what is it? Nick's Nick's, Nick's yep. seafood. Is mm-hmm. it just Nick's or is it Nick's seafood? Uh, we're just going to call it Nick's. Nick's little spot down in Baltimore. I'm going to put the stamp on that. Uh, Old Bay wings was official. Like big you mama made a seafood them. restaurant that got Old Bay wings. Well, I, I had African American. I had, you know um, <laughs> I got some crab. Well, everybody had food. So we was just kind of like, oh, you know, so going. I was like, cause you know, uh, the Accarellis don't eat, yeah, they, they, they don't, don't eat, they don't eat seafood. So. Just kind of got a little bit of everything, um, and I had some uh, 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 crab dip. It was okay. It was a little mid, but the wings was just, you know, the wings was good. Uh, mm-hmm. Wife had, uh, she had some crab balls about this big. They was pretty good. I mean, I thought everything was good. Yeah, it sure. was a good time, you know what I'm saying, to get up, Ralph. You know, his dad going through going through something. Uh, he, he in the hospital, so, yes. you know, I check up on prayers, him every now prayers, and then. Prayers, prayers, prayers. Yeah, so I've been checking up on him now and then, like, you know, give me an update, give me an update. So, you know, to see him in person, I was like, look, man, you know, just, just, just make the call, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if, if we need to do some weekday stuff, like, you know, just send the bird call out, man, and we there. So it was good to, you know, get a little fellowship with him. I mean, and I know my wife always says she was like, well, you know, you guys need to do more stuff. I was like, man, it just it ain't enough time. It ain't. ain't enough. Like I really be like y'all. I really be saying that shit, and it really be true. Like I be mentally dead, bro. Like every day. Like you I'm taking, tell me. like I'm taking off tomorrow to take my dog to the fucking vet. And I'm like, ah, it feels like it's gonna be Saturday tomorrow because I don't, I don't have to work. But when I'm on the clock, even at home, bruh, all day, all day. Even though, even, even though I was just chilling today, like my brain is still running as if I'm running. So, mm-hmm. still fucking tired. So pulled up to your joint, chilled out. Um, I, I would definitely would have got there about an hour sooner if I could have. Um, but uh, still had a good time, man. Chilled out, relaxed, decompressed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That boy, baby, baby, tripping me out, man. <laughs> baby, <laughs> we we was we was talking about uh drinking and shit, and I was like, I was like, bro, it's just crazy that I ain't had nothing to drink. And yeah, and he was talking about smoking. He was like, he's he's like, bro, he's like, he's like, just imagine how you gonna start looking at niggas now that's drunk. I was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, he's like, that's how we used to look at y'all. Like, <laughs> with the f- like, why would you do? Why would you have yourself walking around like this? I was like, yeah, you got a point. Uh. <laughs> It, go, it's actually funny it, though. It, I mean, it is. It, it is. Yeah, you know, we yeah. always had good conversations yeah. when, when everybody pull up. Yeah. So, um, then um, Sunday they had this game. Uh, they played against I don't know, some team. It was all white boys. They was a uh, they, they they was very fundamental, but they ain't had no grit. So uh, after about six minutes into the first quarter, we started taking over. And really, they won the game. They could have. They could have really beat their ass. But we'll, we'll take the W. Yeah, take the but, dub. But the highlight, Sports Center number one. Mm-mm. Aiden, he get the ball, he wide open. So last year the issue is is um, Aiden would be wide open and then then they wasn't looking for him. You know what I mean? So he would be like, you know, he the only one. I'm here, here, pass, pass, pass. They look at him, go the other way, and shoot a fucking air ball or something. Got a got a new new personnel now who can move the ball a little better, who got better court vision. So Aiden open, he watching him, feed him the joint. Aiden Gray go up, he like Oop, pump fake, Oop. go up to the back, hit the layup. I'm like. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm like, okay. that's me. Okay, nephew, I see you. Everybody, 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 everybody in the stands laughing. So he see I'm amped up. He amped up. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So then mom. Show me your war face. So then mom show up, and you know what I mean? So I was, I was like, your son just scored. So he know I didn't tell mom. So right. now, now he on the bench. He like, let me get one for mom. Let me get one for mom. <laughs> so then he in the game. And you know what I'm saying? Like, the player's going, it's going. He's like, well, I'm, I'm going to get a score for you. I was like, get your ass back in the fucking game. I was like, calm down, nigga. Get back in the game. I'm like, I'm, have his I'm moment, like, I know you man. got your yeah. little bucket. I was like, don't get your ass took out the game <laughs> Cause, yeah, cause because you, you try and do too much. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I didn't ended up winning, man. I thought That's it was really up. cool. That's what's and, up. you know, you had the point guard. So he had got, I think he got fouled real bad. And, um, you know, he was on the line and he was tearing up and he was covering his face. I was like, hey, 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 hey. I said, you all right? You all right? Look at me. He's like. You right, you right. That motherfucker come down. He's swatting shots. He taking laps. I was like, I like this little nigga, man. I like him. I said, wait till I see your father in practice today, man. I'll be like, look, I told you, man. Your he that's him. You know what I'm saying? So after that, man, we came home, man, and, and just chilled. You know what I'm saying? Had a good old dinner. We had an old, we had an old classic Sunday dinner. We had a back in Laurel with Sunday dinner. Oh okay. yeah. You know what I mean? All the fixings. We had to use the big plates, oh. not not the paper plate. We had we had to yeah, get the big plates yeah, from up to pull top. Them out, huh? Yeah, so shout that's out to wife on that man. But that's all I got, bro. So let's get into it. Dan Snyder. So what you got? All right, so yeah, so if you don't know, around this time the NFL has like their annual meetings and they discuss NFL team business, right? Mm-hmm. So this is the time. This will be the time if they wanted to vote. Dan Snyder out, they could, but they didn't. The reason why they didn't because the team is still up for sale. So the interesting part about it, and I don't know if you've seen it, uh, uh, Michael, uh, Jesus Christ, Irvin, yeah, Michael Johnson is trying to get on the bid uh, to buy the team. So if you don't know, Magic Johnson, Magic Magic Johnson, I said Michael Johnson, (laughs) Jesus Christ, excuse me, pardon me, sir, Magic Johnson, uh, Linked up with the Harris Group. So that's the investment company that's trying to um, get them. Um, so they were being real, real hush hush, not giving details. But what I what I found out and what I read, you know, he uh, he worked with the Harris Group before and they tried to buy the Broncos, but they got bought out by the people who own Walmart. Okay. He also tried to uh, get stakes in the Raiders and the Lakers, if I'm not mistaken. But. What I didn't know, did you know that Harris Group, they own the Philadelphia 76ers and a, a Phil- the damn uh, a hockey team as well. So the Flyers or something? Yeah, I think it's the Flyers. I think it's the Philly Flyers. So um, as of right now, it's still undecided of, of what's going to happen with the Washington Commanders. But I did think it was kind of interesting because if Magic Johnson does go through, because he's been trying to get his hands on the NFL team for a while. So I didn't know he got outbid uh, for the Denver Broncos. I wasn't tracking that. But uh, he'll be one of the few um, African-Americans that owns a, a, a NFL team. Uh, but they didn't mention, like, how much of a stake he would have or how large of his portion would be. So um, I don't know, man. What you think? If What would happen if Magic Johnson gets the team? So funny thing. I still don't believe the Magic Johnson theater is his, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he can, he can take. He can have that shit. Yeah, that shit twice. Um, you know the crazy thing about it is, so I looked it up too. So uh, also uh, one of the reasons why they're not they're not uh, uh, saying anything is because there apparently there's other people. Yeah, there's, there's a whole, there's there's a whole other, bunch of other people. other people that are trying to buy the team. And I wonder if you think Bezos and Jay Z selling that. They don't, they, they don't want to give it to Bezos for some reason. So you realize that, like... Well, who's going to outbid him, though? It's, it's not about that, though. So that's the thing. It don't matter how much money, money you got. Get, it's, all it's, of the, all the all owners them, have yeah, to they, agree. They agree Ain't that yeah, crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. So it's just like, you could pick the brokest nigga. <laughs> I, you could pick the brokest rich nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but if they fuck with him, they going to give gonna it to him. Yeah, yeah, Bezos yeah. got more money than all of these yeah, people yeah, yeah, put yeah, together. Yeah. But... They don't want to. So it's just like, and if they don't sign all with 32 other 31 yeah, owners, yeah, yeah. don't sign off on it, yeah, you can't yeah, be the owner. Be Are the you owner. kidding me? Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's that means, crazy. That's mean you telling me no matter how much no money matter I have, what, my money not good enough. So it's like, I understand it now. Why you know that boils down to? The good old boy group. Yep. I would agree. Say, now I understand. I retarded. understand why all of the owners are white. I understand. Listen. 
I've been keeping the buck with y'all. If the shoe was on the other foot and all the owners was black, they wouldn't be trying to let no white people get in there either. <laughs> I just, I just want y'all to look at it like that, all right? I'll, I'll be starting to hit y'all with some revert, make you think. Make you think, if, if If all the fucking owners was, if all the football owners was black, y'all would not be letting, y'all would not be trying to let no white people on no team. I'm just going to keep it 100. Y- y'all may, we may not want to hear it. Yeah. But I, I honestly think it's the truth, you know what I mean? So it don't even matter. So the simple fact that he don't, they don't know who is who other people is there's other people trying to get the team yeah, they, they just are. ain't announced yeah. them yet mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying now they like well shit we we not doing nothing until we find out who these people are exactly yeah that's crazy that's that's crazy bro that's crazy like mm, I, I know. politics is everywhere everywhere that's crazy bro we'll keep y'all updated on that yeah, most definitely. john of the major god damn it why y'all why y'all trying to fuck with fuck with my man bro we try to fuck with my man Assault, sexual assault. Get the, f- you know. I'll let you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you. So, go ahead. Go ahead. so for for those who are living underneath a rock, it was it Saturday? Saturday, John Majors was, was arrested Saturday. in Manhattan because I think it was his girlfriend accused him of. I don't think it was sexual assault. I think it was just assault. Uh, no, 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 no. Did I say sexual? Yeah, you said sexual I'm sorry. Assault. I didn't mean assault. <laughs> so Physical assault. assault. Physical assault, right? And he was arrested. But the next morning, she recanted her entire statement. You know, the, he, you know what the whole was, thing was for? What? Because allegedly he was texting some other girl. I don't know how true that is. But either way. That's verified today. So, so, but what's crazy is, right, so... She recanted his check, whether it's because he was texting another lady or what, she recanted it. So she might have got a check or whatever, or she must have been lying the whole time. But what other people are coming out and saying now, because you know he went to Yale, they saying that he was a sociopath and an abuser, bro, in school. They got proof? So somebody who went there to say, somebody wrote an article, and I can't remember. They was like, um, pretty much along the long story, they was like, I've known about this, about Jonathan Majors for a long time, and I'm surprised it took this long for him to get reported. Then uh, supported it, like, I forgot what uh, news or article it was. They said they reached out to somebody um, who went to school around that time. They said they couldn't remember whether he was like that type of person or not, but there are other people they said that are going to come out within the next coming days of him being in a sociopath and abuser. They said that he was on roids, possibly when he was on school. It was a whole type of shit. So hopefully all this shit is bullshit. And it's it's I'm I'm a I'm going to I'm gonna say it is because he's getting he's he his career skyrocketed over like the last two or three years. So yeah, you gotta put a halt to that shit at some point. Not us, but the 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 system, right? They gotta put a halt to his shit to some point. Try to uh fuck his name up or whatever fuck his career. But hopefully Everything is all bullshit, it's all trash. People do anything for clout nowadays. Like we've said many times, and I preach on it, this is the era of clout chasing. So um, hopefully it's all bullshit, but it's, it's crazy because that movie just came out, Creed doing good, Lovecraft Country was doing amazing, and then now he's about to be doing a Dennis Rodman jump too. Crazy. Leave that man alone if it's bullshit. So what happens? If it's, bull, if it's not bullshit, mm, it's going to be a lot of broken hearts out here. So what happens What happens to the girlfriend who who recants the story and he didn't got locked up? Uh, If he wants to press charges, she'll go to jail. I don't think he's going to press charges, though. See, see, but that's see, this is the shit I be talking about, <laughs> man. Like now, now you 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 putting a dent in this man's part. Listen, yep. until until this until this shit come confirmed that he was doing all this in school, blah blah blah. It's just hearsay. Yep. So I don't believe shit until until I see a verified source say we got this person. And then honestly, nowadays, man, when people just coming forward and saying something like. That, that shit, that, it's not it, enough proof it, for it, me, bro. That shit blows me. When it's people, not enough proof for me. When people come out like 10 years later, and, and, I, and I'm not trying to say I'm not empathetic or I'm not sympathetic to people's shit, right? But I'm always going to be like, well, why didn't you say nothing in the beginning? Like, why wait 10, 15 because years? Because he was nobody then. Yeah, so, I don't know. Like I said, hopefully it's all bullshit and this shit just blow over. And then speaking of celebrities, off topic, did you hear Beyonce cut shit, cut ties with Adidas? I did. And she going to fucking Balmain? Who? She uh she doing what the fuck was it? I think it was Balmain. 
What, what's who, who? Who is Bob Main? You don't know who Bob Main is. They do shoes. What, and you, all what shoe? Shit. What shoe brand is it? That's their like own brand. That's, that's that's a that's a you know you know what's what's these youngins say? That's 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 up. That's like on the level. Bob Main is up there with like Gucci, Versace, like and shit. And shit. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, and they said, but they said uh, somebody said that. Uh, Adidas been fucking up, so that's why Beyonce was like, "Nah, I'm out of here." They out here looking crazy. I, yeah, I never so. even knew Beyonce was with Adidas. What, what which ones yeah. was hers? I don't know. I think she had some Ivy big, Ivy big bottom jumps. No, nah, she had some Ivy City shoes or some shit, didn't she? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I know ain't know. I, thought, I just I thought it was that shit clothes. caught me all. That shit uh, it just popped on my on my timeline when I was reading through articles and shit. But but that was it. Okay. All right. Local shit, man. This is this is uh. I'm not surprised. You know what I'm saying? DC wants to add 342 Where? more speed cameras. Where? So you know that there's one on every corner now. It's not. Shit. It's not. It's still, it's still plenty of places you can put them. Mm. So you got, it's already 140. The main ones on the main roads are you got the one on New York Avenue yes. when you're going to 50. Mm-hmm. You got one on uh, East, East Capitol. Mm-hmm. Got two on East Capitol. Yep. You got, I mean, they're everywhere. They're but everywhere. so my thing is, I'm I'm just gonna say, is it good or bad? For what though? It's what is it going to do? Well, it's it's good and bad. I'm gonna say it's good and it's bad. I'm gonna say it's good because it is a lot of fucking reckless driving. Like I be making these posts, but it's and I, but it's speeding tickets. That's not gonna. Ch- these motherfuckers are still gonna drive crazy. They're gonna get boots on their car, take the boots off, and drive. That's not doing anything. It's just funding more fucking money in DC. So it is. That doesn't mitigate shit. So it does. So I was gonna say that it is. It is a money pit. But I looked at the numbers, bro, and it is the numbers for like people getting hit, like hit by cars and yeah, shit like yeah. that. It's fucking high, bro. It so is. if you so look, if you do this right, if you put them now, you're talking about putting them in residential areas where motherfuckers be speeding. I personally think. That's where they will be the most impactful. The highway is you the know hi- what, you it's know the highway is the yeah, highway. You know what'd be more impactful and fucking you think these fucking kill boys gonna give a shit about these fucking tickets? I mean these uh traffic cameras. Well that's just a but, small group though. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. But that's all the main people that's fucking causing all the fucking havoc in the city right now. But you know what the fucking saw their asses down in the residential area? A fucking speed, speed bump. Speed hump. Shit. Not a fucking camera, a speed bump. Shit, that, you you think that's cheaper than them cameras? Fuck yeah, it's cheaper than them cameras. They ain't gonna do that because they, 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 all that is all that getting, is is asphalt. They're people, not, they're not people getting no money there, for that though. Yeah, but people go out there and uh, fucking tamper with them shits, destroy them, spray paint over them, take the wheels off of them. You, they you do remember? All types uh, of shit. You remember Supermo? Yeah, Super Mo. Knocking, knocking the shits yeah, over. Yeah, knocking the shits <laughs> over. They still never caught him. Yeah, so it's just like that's not going to fix the problem. You need, and then the thing about it is. This is just a distraction or what the uh from what the fuck she really needs to fucking do is take uh some type of fucking control over these fucking youngins in the city, not fucking speeding tickets. So what if what if what if they take cause you know they're projected to make almost six hundred million. Shit, they made two hundred fucking million a couple years ago off of fucking speeding tickets. So, and the fucking neighborhoods and shit still fucked up. So where'd the two hundred million go? So it, you think it's a possibility that that money could go into other stuff? I don't know. I doubt it. I, can't I, believe, I, I mean, I, I don't. I don't believe shit anymore. And the reason why I say that is because they was talking all this bullshit about the MGM and how it's going to fund fucking schools and all this other shit. Man, there's fucking three schools shutting down in a seven mile radius in my fucking uh, close to me. And the the fucking my kids' schools look the same when me and Natasha went to the fucking elementary school. They They're not putting that. money in the shit, so I don't believe shit nowadays. They talking all this man. Fuck out of here. And and they it's also going to make everything slow as fuck. It's, it's traffic, traffic is traffic already is bad. Already traffic bad. is already bad. So those who do adhere to the fucking laws, they're going to be slowing down, which means it's going to cause everybody else. We was driving when we were coming back from the dad going um spy museum. It's a work van. This motherfucker weaving in and out of traffic on three ninety five. This motherfucker took the shoulder, bro, and was gone. Boom. Had right past 11th floor. Street. Guess what? Two or three cars followed right behind him. Foo! I'm like, what the? And you know it's, it's cameras right there. Yeah. So it's but like, they know, they know when to stop, bro. Why? Like, people be thinking, I, when, when I be on Facebook and I be like, oh, man, you bad drivers. They be thinking I be joking. I, nah, am, that's just, I am joking. That's, that's, that shit's everywhere. But it's real, That shit's everywhere. Like, motherfuckers. Somebody was, driving stu- somebody was driving stupid today when I'm going to go pick the kids up. And, uh. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love elderly people, but sometimes if you can't see or you can't drive, <laughs> just have somebody drive you, bro. Hey, I said that the just other day. I said, I said, look, man, bro. I feel like once you turn sixty, 
You need to go back. You need to have to go back and retake the test. Nah, because there's some people that's good out here. But if, if you, you pa- understand, if, if you can pass if your it, your windshield is here, and you want to stand with like this, it's time for you to. Go. Bro, if you if you turn sixty and you can pass the test, then you good. Mm-hmm. And then when you turn sixty five, you need to take it again. No, I feel like when you turn sixty, you gotta take. Honestly, I think when you turn sixty, every time that your license expires, you gotta take it. Nah, test. bro, I think it need to be sooner than that. A, 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 a lot can happen in five years. I think once you turn sixty, you should have to take the motherfucking test every two years, bro. You're crazy. Every two years, you need to come back. You ain't even got to pay, but you required to come back. And they're going to be like, they're going to be like, listen, uh, uh, Bethany, <laughs> you're going to have to hang it up. Like, they, you we, ain't, we, we ain't passed you, today, Bartholomew. Be like, look, we're going to give you six months you to hang this shit up, and then you're going to have the motherfucking Metro access. You stupid. We'll see. All right, let's get to the last subject. Mm. I'm going to put this fucking debate to bed. We're talking about a new balance debate. I keep getting tagged in this shit. Every, every couple of months, somebody want to put out, oh, who who made the New Balance popular? Or who who made? Listen, go on your phones right now and type in what city made New Balance popular. It's going to say Washington, D.C. 10 fucking times out of 10. Baltimore, y'all didn't come up with shit. You no, understand me? Yeah. Let me? Let me tell you what Baltimore did. First of all, in back in the fucking early 90s, early, when we was on them 574s, a staple I had one pair. They, they, they was a little weak on the ankle. So I ain't have them that long. I, I, I quickly made my way over to the 990 section. That. But them 574s was a fucking staple. We was wearing them shits, and then y'all started wearing them. But y'all be wearing them colors. You want to know the difference between when, when, you see, when you see a nigga from the DMV and a nigga from Baltimore, and they got New Balance on. Nigga from the area, from, from local DMV, them shits are going to be gray. They're going to be black. And you might have occasionally going to have some blue. You go to Baltimore, they got every color except the colors I named. They got yellow, green, pink, all this wild. All, all they was wearing in Baltimore was fucking 498s because them shits was cheap. Them shits was cheap. They was durable. You can get a couple of pair of them. Nigga, I go upstairs right now. Nigga, I got the motherfucking 990 V3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, goddamn uh, 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 2000s. Shit. Nigga, it's the fucking New Balance Museum in my goddamn closet. <laughs> Baltimore, y'all ain't start shit. You understand that? You didn't start it. Now, when did when did New Balance become popular nationwide? When they started coming out with the protection packs yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit like that. When when they started doing collabs with designers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you know when I was in California, I was like, damn, they wearing New Balance out here, but nobody was wearing the cool grays though. No, cool gray, right. cool grays is yeah, a staple yeah, here. It's here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. But they'll wear they will wear anything. Like even even downtown, you see white people with with um they ain't wearing no nine nineties, but they'll have a new balance on. Yeah, they have some new balance. Because they like shit, it's a quality shoe. It's came a long way. It is. You know what I mean? To the point where it's not just it's not just your street nigga shoe no more. I had a pair of new balance vibram jumps when I was when I was a drill sergeant, when I was in drill sergeant school. Um it was it was they were almost just as flat and comfortable as them um them toe shoes. Okay. But um, since I was running like seven miles, I needed a good quality shoe. But um, I had to put a high arch, like, um, slip in or some shit in my, in my shoe because I got high arches. But them jumps was comfortable as hell. I dogged the hell out of them jumps. Every other day, I was running seven miles, and them jumps lasted for three years. Like, me running on them jumps every other day. For, them jumps last. So... I get, New Balance do make some good shoes, but make a the, good shoe, but the the cool grays, man, and New Balance started here. It's just cool gray. Off, it started off. here. It started here. It started in the DMV area. Just in case you bought a one nigga trying to infiltrate from Laurel. I ain't talking about the Howard County side of Laurel. I'm talking about the Prince George's County side of Laurel. So when you get to that Island Liquors on fucking on Route One, you stop there, and you come on back down. Anything further past there, that's Baltimore, and go get them colorful four nine eights. All right. Mm. Not the Please, I, I listen. I fucking dare anybody, anybody to, to want to go go up against me with this. Anybody from Baltimore or New York? I heard some stupid niggas from New York was like, no, fuck no. <laughs> niggas from New York talking about the Nike boots. I was like, come on, bro, come on, bro. I was like, it's just listen. New Balance, Nike boots, foams. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And yeah. a beef and broccoli and chicken and grapes. <laughs> what the fuck is chicken and gravy? <laughs> the uh, the Tams, the light jumps. What you talking about? The butters? No. You talking about so the brown? You, I was so talking about the cinnamon joints. Yeah, the, we call them chicken and grapes. Chicken and gravy. The beef and broccoli because they was brown and green. 
And then you had the you had the uh the Ted jokes. We ain't call them cinnamon. They was fucking chicken and gravy. Maybe they just Moe County thing. We yeah. ain't never called that motherfucker. Y'all called them cinnamon? Chicken. The cinnamon Tims, yeah. Ask Wally. Look, Wally got them shit. Wally Ask Wally. Be like, Wally hey, can't count. be like, hey, what's 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 them what's them Tims you got? What you call them? The brown Tims. He's gonna be like, oh, these cinnamon. But not the full cinnamons. not the not the full color Jones, though. I'm talking about the you know what I'm the talking original about. original butters. No, I'm not talking about the original butters. I'm talking about the beef and broccoli. I know right? what the beef and broccoli is. Right, but they came oh, up the, the tan other one. Jones. The they, tan ones. Yeah. Oh, see? okay. Well, I guess you can see that. We yeah. just we just called them the tan joints. I guess. Yeah, so remember they was like Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they but was they tan. was tan and, and like it was like gray or mesh or something right there. We call them yeah, chicken yeah, and gray. Yeah. Them the work boots now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grass cut jumps. Don't nobody wear them jumps no more. All right. That's all we got. So are you ready? <laughs> you know it. Oh, wrong one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to get it together. Thank you. Don't look. Don't don't get us. Don't get us. Goddamn. Take took the. Fuck I don't know. Off this here. second one might be a little wrong. Don't look, get us took over. Hey look. Here. Hey look. The second one will probably gonna be a little wrong. So the first one's funny, I think, because I laughed reading it. So, what rapper? Doesn't agree with everything. Like this motherfucker agrees to nothing. Nas. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna play that for the wife. She probably she probably gonna kick out of that shit. <laughs> All right. So this one, viewer discretion is advised. Mature audiences only. Did you know? Pause. That my penis is in the Guinness Book of World Records. You know why? No. Because the librarian told me to take my <laughs> dick out the book. <laughs> Get your meat out the book. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> If we get shut down, it's this nigga his fault. Man, this motherfucker just said way worse like, shit no, than I'm that. Playing. But that was funny, though. I died laughing. I'm playing. All right, y'all. Good night. Captain out.